Ever since I can remember, I've always wanted to be a footballer. At the age of 14, I actually moved away from local football and joined my first tier one academy. I spent many years playing against the top teams in the world, Arsenal, Chelsea, Man United, Liverpool, the list goes on. And just after signing a scholarship at the club, I unfortunately suffered my first major knee injury, an ACL ligament rupture on my right knee. It was a very complicated injury and after 18 months I returned and was actually able to get back on my feet and sign a professional football contract. Of course, this was a dream come true. However, things didn't go to plan that season and after being told halfway through the year I would not get another contract i left the club and just found myself sitting at home not wanting anything to do with football anymore eventually i did go back to play and at this time i just needed to play games i needed to get fit again but unfortunately instead i suffered my second major knee injury an acl ligament injury again but this time on my left knee this all put everything into perspective and i've realized just how much i want to do my absolute best to push on and reach my full potential with my football I'm on the road to recovery with my left ACL knee injury, but things are looking really good and we're getting closer and closer to returning to playing football and back on the journey to hopefully becoming one day again a professional player. My name's Kieran Higgs and this is my footballing journey. <sighs> right, okay. YouTube, I've literally just woke up, shut some clothes on. We got the watch on. The day's, the day's getting started already and please don't judge the trim. The trip, okay, you know what, uh, there we go. Uh, I feel so much better now. We're gonna start today off bright and early and the whole objective of today is actually just to do a load of technical stuff on the ball. With ACL injuries, one of the biggest things coming back is making sure you're physically there. You start off with just being able to get your knee fully straight and bent, then you move into the gym. And I've done all that work and we're still progressing with the physical stuff, but I don't wanna come back to football and yes, be phys physically great, which is what I think we will achieve and then technically just be completely way off it. So today's session is gonna be light, not that intense, but it's gonna have a lot of technical stuff that I'm sure some of you can even pick up on and do yourself. I'm linking up with my bro Connor, so it's gonna be a good sesh and uh, let's get straight into it. Oh, right, so this thing right here, you probably recognize it. Yes, muscle massager. Now, does it actually work? Yes, it's really good. Now, you don't have to get the ones that cost like 300 pounds. This one cost me like 60, which is still a bit expensive, but for what it is, I think it's really good. So. Before we do anything else, I'm going to do some just a bit of this, a bit of stretching and that will hopefully help us for today. We'll warm up properly, cool down everything, make sure the body's good. Uh, but yeah, before we eat, we're just going to do a bit of this. So let's get into it. Feeling a bit better. That was literally like... I did, I didn't do like loads of stretches to be honest, but just a little bit, just to make myself feel a bit better. So this is what we have. Uh, I'm going to show you the calories of what this shake is. I don't know, in the morning I just like having a shake and there's a load of energy in this and obviously when I'm trying to diet and not go crazy, I think this just helps me to be fair. But still pretty high calorie in terms of like the other meals I have. Uh, but yeah, like this is pretty nice, honestly. Try it out. If you've got a blender, try it. It's nice. What are you saying? Today's sesh. What are we saying today? What have we got planned? A bit of shooting, probably a bit of running for you because obviously you need to get that fitness up, <laughs> a bit of stiffers. Um, just a bit of passing, a bit of two touch, obviously little games like that. Um, but you know, so Pop bend? Pop bend. Pop bend? Uh, right, so uh, yeah, like you said, we're going to do loads of ball work today. Well, it's just low, but. It's just low. Thank you. 
Right, so I think we're just gonna do some like two touch, some little passes to get warm a bit. Probably like put some stretches in there. Obviously, if we're gonna be shooting and we've done some swing stuff, there are our quads to be like pulling or anything like that. So that's probably what we we'll start with, and uh, yeah. Right, so we've just done some passing, just touches on the ball. Uh, we didn't show it all, but we're now gonna do some just finishing and stuff. Uh, just, I don't know, this, this pitch is really hard to do shooting. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see from the footage we show you, but it bobbles all the time, so you're kind of waiting for that perfect time to shoot. <laughs> oh, he's got my goggles on, bro. That's my gym bag, bro. Yeah, uh, let's get into it. Right, so a bit of finishing there. I just want to say how it is. Like, it's so weird how, like, when you come back from a long-term injury, how, like all the little angles feel so strange. Like, obviously, I'm trying to hit my shots hard with power, like in the bottom left. Yeah, not too great, but uh, I haven't done too many finishing sessions yet, so we'll get there. So I don't want to go too far. It's easy to get carried away and like just start shooting loads of balls, which is where you get like muscle injuries and stuff. For me, I've still got work to do on Saturday with Mark. So like I said, today I was going to be light, just ball stuff. And to be fair, it's good just to get touched on the balls. So we had a lapse as well yesterday, so like everyone's going to sit and actually do a lapse of the field and see distance. So yesterday was actually really heavy. Yeah. And today, like, really a little bit. Of it. So I've got a session later on. My knee, especially. I know Connor's back from his ACL and that, but for me, like, it's just about slowly lifting the intensity and like the workload. And slowly, we'll be able to do larger, bigger sessions. So, yeah, man, like, good stuff. Hopefully, you enjoyed the clips. Just need to be updated on all the, all the things that's going on in the gym, 
conditioning, not just ball work. So stay tuned, drop a like, and I'll see you in the next one.